John Muir once said, of all the paths you take in life, make sure a few are dirt. And as an avid hiker and backpacker, I could not agree with this more. In this video, I'm gonna be covering 20 of the best hikes from around the world, from cross-country excursions to multi-day traverses and some of the best day hikes as well. And I will say it was extremely hard to narrow this list down to just 20. But here are the best hikes to try before you die. Hey everybody, I'm Alice Ford, serial solo traveler, hiker, and explorer, and your ticket to adventure. If this is your first time coming to the channel, well, hit that subscribe button and get ready for a fun journey around the world. In no particular order, we're starting this list in Europe with the Tour de Mont Blanc. The Tour de Mont Blanc is one of the most popular hut-to-hut -hut hikes in Europe. It traverses through France, Switzerland, and Italy as it circles the famous Mont Blanc Massive. It's 103 miles and takes people usually between 9 and 14 days, starting and ending in Chamonix, France. This hike has some serious inclines as it goes from stunning mountain views and snow-capped peaks by glaciers and through small and picturesque towns. It will certainly leave you wanting more. Number two is the West Coast Trail on Vancouver Island in Canada. This iconic hike traverses Vancouver Island on Canada's Pacific coast, winding through the Great Bear Rainforest and along the shoreline of the Pacific Ocean. Famous for its ruggedness, hundreds of man-made ladders and bridges, lush rainforests, and beautiful beach campsites. The West Coast Trail offers an experience as rich as the island's flora and fauna. Number three on the list is the Skyline Trail in Mount Rainier National Park in Washington State. This is just 6.2 miles and takes most people three to five hours. The entire hike is a beauty. Starting in Paradise, you'll hike past lovely Myrtle Falls, through Pine Forest, and then ascend the slopes of Mount Rainier. And on a clear day, you can see as far as Mount Hood in Oregon. Now, if you're looking for a longer trail in Mount Rainier, you'll definitely want to think about the Wonderland Trail, which is a 93 mile trail that circumnavigates Mount Rainier. Not only is it one of the best experiences in the park, but hiking the Wonderland Trail is one of the top backpacking trips in the US. Number four on the list is the GR20. This has been described as one of Europe's hardest hikes. It's a footpath that crosses the island of Corsica in the Mediterranean from north to south. Now, the trail is difficult. With 12,000 meters of elevation gain, it winds its way along the jagged spine of Corsica's mountainous center. And despite the rugged nature of much of the terrain, it's a hike that is within the capabilities of most backpackers, due to it being exceedingly well marked and sporting regular accommodation and resupply options. Now, the best time to do this hike is between June and October. It spans 110 miles and will take most people about 15 days. Number five is La Ciudad Perdida, or the Lost Trek. Now, the Lost City is located in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Maria in Colombia. And along this trail, you get a great diversity of fauna and flora, as well as the opportunity to interact with the indigenous communities that inhabit it. And that's just one of the reasons that this is called the best trek in South America. You have lush jungles and stream crossings, and you also get to explore the uncrowded ruins of Teyuna, AKA the Lost City which dates back to well before Machu Picchu. Number six on the list is the Trans-Bhutan Trail. Now this is considered one of the best hikes in Asia and it just reopened to travelers in 2022. The Trans-Bhutan Trail goes from Ha in the west of Bhutan to Trashagang in the east. It spans 403 kilometers. So it would take over a month to hike the whole thing. So most people just hike a few days along the route. Now, this trail was used for hundreds of years by pilgrims, traders, and messengers in a country that has been, for very much of my life, been closed off to the outside world. It crosses a variety of terrain, from lush rice paddies to rhododendron forest, thick wilderness and remote villages to bustling towns. It also goes through some of Bhutan's most major cities. Along the route, you'll visit multiple temples, palaces, as well as go over mountain passes, suspension bridge, and cantilever bridges. Visiting Bhutan itself is an unforgettable experience and getting to hike along this route, well, it's once in a lifetime. Number seven is the Kelalau Trail in Kauai, Hawaii. This permit-only hike has been touted as one of the most beautiful and dangerous hikes in America. It meanders down through slippery, mud-covered hillsides and narrow ridges to Kalalau Beach. 
traversing five valleys before you land on this protected area accessible only to hikers and blocked by sheer fluted cliffs. It was originally built in the late 1800s and served as one of the only ways to access the beautiful Nepali coastline via land. And in the early days, a similar foot trail linked traditional Hawaiian settlements along this rugged coastline. Located in Patagonia, the awe-inspiring Torres del Paine National Park is a sight to behold. And there's two famous treks here that most people want to take. One is called the W Trek, which is becoming one of the most popular trekking routes in South America. Now the route takes you nearby glaciers and lakes along a river and up some challenging passes with views of the towering granite obelisks that gave the park its name. Another option that you can do in this park is called the O Trek, which actually adds on a few days and about 18 miles. But if you decide to do the O Trek instead of the W, you're gonna avoid the crowds and get closer to the peaks that give this park its name. Now the W Trek is 50 miles, takes five days, and the O Trek is 68 miles and takes seven to nine days. And the best time to do these is between October and April. Number nine is the Salkente Trek to Machu Picchu. Often hailed as the alternative to the Inca Trail, the Salkente Trek will whisk you off the beaten path and into the true wilderness as you make your way to Machu Picchu. Climbing to more than 4,000 meters above the sea, past ice-capped summits, glimmering alpine lakes, and remote valleys full of vicuña, this is the more untamed side of the famous trek to the ancient city and a fantastic way to see Peru. Number 10 is the Annapurna Circuit in Nepal. Now, there are few serious hikers who haven't thought about visiting Nepal, and hiking all are part of the Annapurna Circuit. Some say it's like hiking through a Himalayan highlight reel. It crosses two different river crossings and encircles the Annapurna Massive, connecting tea houses, Tibetan temples, and subtropical lowlands to spiky high-altitude mountains. The 100-mile trek typically takes about 16 days, and will both inspire you and challenge you at every step as you wind your way through some of the tallest mountains in the world. Number 11 on the list is the Alta Via 1 in the Dolomites. Now, some of you may remember that this past summer I hiked in the Dolomites. I actually hiked in the Rosen Garden, which is another area of the Dolomites. But the Alta Via 1 is actually the most famous and popular trek in this area of Italy. Now the Dolomites, if you didn't know, are located in Northeast Italy, and they're one of the most beautiful and craggy mountain ranges I have ever seen. The Alta Via 1 is one of the most famous treks and one of the easier multi-day treks in the Dolomites, traversing from the beautiful Lago de Bre through alpine meadows and high into the Rocky Mountains. Now, you can spend as many days as you want on this trek. If you do the whole trek, it's 75 miles and nine days, and the best part is that it's hut to hut. So there's no camping. You can get wine at the end of each day if you want and sleep in a nice warm bed. Number 12 on the list is the Banff Highline Traverse. This is 64 miles. It can take up to eight days to complete. It's located in Banff National Park in Canada. The Banff Highline Trail is a network of trails in Banff National Park. It winds through Douglas fir, large forests, over alpine passes, and by sparkling alpine tarns, along the shoals of glacial lakes, and through the endless alpine scenery of the Canadian Rockies. Now, in reading about this hike, there are several different options. You can choose to just do a day hike if you want, but if you're looking for a multi-day traverse, you can do the whole thing, which will take you through some of the most stunning scenery in the Canadian Rockies. Now, this next hike is in Iceland, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of it. If you really want to experience the weather and landscape of Iceland, this six-day hiking trip will have you walking by glaciers, waterfalls, volcanoes, and even lava fields over colorful mountains and through fields of running wild horses with stops along to dip in the hot springs. It's a stunning and immense landscape with lots of beauty and unpredictable weather. Number 14 on the list is the Arctic Circle Trail. And if you're looking for a through hike that's less crowded, this trail might just be for you. The Arctic Circle Trail, or the ACT, is a multi-day track traversing Greenland. It goes along an ancient Inuit hunting ground between ice cap to ocean. And while it can be hiked in summer or winter, summer means endless daylight, endless wildflowers, and tons of birds, musk ox, and Arctic fox. The trail is named for its latitude, which essentially lies along the Arctic Circle itself at 66.6 .6 degrees north, and consists of undulating Arctic tundra that gets progressively more mountainous as you approach Sisimut and the coast. 
It's pristine wilderness at its best with plenty of wildlife and fresh drinking water that doesn't even need to be purified and seemingly endless number of lakes. Number 15 takes us to the Drakensberg Royal Natal National Park in South Africa and the Sentinel Trail to Tagula Falls. Now, if you're visiting Africa, you should not miss an opportunity to explore this national park. It's home to the highest mountain ranges in South Africa and the second highest waterfall in the world. Nature levels will find plenty to explore at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now, the trail itself is just five miles with lots of options for backpacking. Along the way, you'll find monkeys frolicking in the grass before happening upon the chain ladders, which take you to the top of Sentinel Peak. Here, you'll be able to see Tagela Falls cascading into the valley below. And further up is the Amphitheater Lookout, one of the most impressive views in the park. Okay, number 16 on the list is a slot canyon called Buckskin Gulch near the Arizona-Utah border. This stretches for more than a dozen miles through south central Utah, and the dark undulating narrows of Buckskin Gulch are a sight to behold. It's a wonder of the American Southwest and considered to be the longest slot canyon in the entire world. Now, Buckskin Gulch is part of the Pariah Canyon drainage in the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument that spans the border between Utah and Arizona, and there's really no place like it anywhere else on Earth. This hike can be done as a short or long day hike and does require a permit. It also cannot be hiked during rain or after rain. We're coming to the end of the list here, just a few more. Number 17 on the list is the Great Ocean Walk in Australia. Located in Victoria, this is the country's premier long distance walk. It hugs the dramatic coastline between Apollo Bay and the landmark 12 Apostles along the Great Ocean Road. It offers a great variety of contrasting habitats, historical interest points, wildlife, and beautiful remote beaches. Bounded by the wild Great Southern Ocean, Many people are familiar with the Great Ocean Road, but the Great Ocean Walk offers completely different perspectives. Far from the roads and people, walkers can camp along the route or even stay in a lighthouse, eco lodge, or hotel as they make their way along the route. And the best part about this hike is that at 104 kilometers, you can choose to do a little or the whole thing, which would take about seven to eight days. Number 18 on the list is the Three Capes Track in Tasmania. It's a multi-day track spanning 48 kilometers of cliff-hugging wilderness in Australia's Far East. The trail is usually four days and three nights, starting at the World Heritage-listed Port Arthur Historic Site. A purpose-built Pennicott Wilderness Journeys boat will deliver you to the track, where you are likely to spot migratory whales, dolphins, or fur seals. Now, the trail is well-maintained and the scenery is just magical. It's remote and awe-inspiring, taking you by beaches, through forest, and up along the rocky cliffs that peer over the Tasmanian Sea. Number 19 is the Milford Track inside Fiordland National Park in New Zealand. This is the premier hut-to-hut -hut hike in the country, traversing some of the most beautiful scenery in New Zealand. It starts at the lake and heads up McKinnon Pass, over suspension bridges and boardwalks, and high into the rocky peaks of the mountains. You're almost guaranteed rain on this hike, but that keeps the waterfalls rushing and the scenery pristine. Number 20 is the Grand Canyon Rim to Rim. Now this national park is one of the wonders of America, and the Rim to Rim hike is one of the most sought after for those not afraid of the challenge. It's said that less than 1% of the Grand Canyon's 5 million visitors ever see the bottom of the canyon. And this hike starts on the North Rim and descends down 6,000 feet to the bottom where the Colorado River runs through. You'll have stunning views of the canyons and the river before ascending the steep switchbacks and several thousand feet back to the top of the South Rim. Wow, those were some incredible hikes. I'm about ready to pack my backpack right now and head for the hills. And I hope this inspired you to plan some of your next hiking trips as well. There were so many fantastic hikes on this list. And as I said in the beginning, it was incredibly difficult to narrow it down to 20. And because of that, I'll be sharing some of these other hikes in some upcoming videos. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. If you're new, hit subscribe. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to drop a comment down below if you're planning on doing any of the hikes I listed or if you have any other big hikes planned this year. Now, in making this video, I have definitely added several of these hikes to my list and I hope to check them off my bucket list this year. So we'll see. I've definitely got some planning to do for 2023, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, 
I'm Alice Ford, Never Stop Exploring, and I hope to see you on the trail.